Hello, 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 buddy. It is I, J Malls of J Malls Gaming, here with a new reaction this time to the extra content trailer for Near Replicant version 1.22474487139. Period, period, period. Did not miss a beat. That's what we're talking about. So, I wasn't expecting this. Also, extra content trailer. So, I saw a tweet about this. Apparently, Near Replicant is going to have new story elements to it. And some new content. Hence the freaking trailer for extra content. Now, I never played the original Nier. I have played Nier Alt Automata. And I have researched, done a little bit of digging, as to the stories of Dragon God 1 and 3. So I'll be really interested to see what this new content for Nier is. In terms of the story, as well as gameplay elements. I don't know the story of Nia mostly. I know it's about Project Gestalt somewhat. I know Devil and Popola are in it, and I know a rough outline of Emil's story because he was an automata, so I researched him a while back. So I'll be really interested to see what this trailer is. So, the link to this trailer will be in the description down below. Let's get right into this. Okay. Produced by Square Enix. Okay, we open it up with eating people, so you know it's going to be freaking festive. Oh, the oh, when they're talking about eating people and it has this very pleasant, happy-go-lucky song in the background, you know this is, you know there's going to be something. You know this isn't there. Okay, we're not glossing over this sword. That sword is looking sick. I'm liking it. Extra dungeons, 15 nightmares. I wonder if that's mainly just for gameplay, but no Yoko Taro, probably not. Extra costumes. We have Kabuki and Samurai. Okay. I'm liking the I'm liking these costumes. Are these are the new ones? Hold the hell up. Was that the freaking desert from Automata? Oh, we got Hansel and Gretel. I know them from the new Nier raid in Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, we'll be going back to these individually. Hold on. So. Guest cast from the Automata. Wait, guest cast. Okay, so 2B and 9S. I believe Kyle McCauley is 9S. I know Keo Bucklands is the English voice actress for 2B. Let's just let the play through and we'll go through this individually to break it down. Just in case I missed anything, I know I did. Soundtrack from the Automata included. That's already a banger. That's great. I like how you can... So, I'm assuming these costumes aren't... Because 2B and 9S are literally in this game. I don't think that would make sense story-wise. Extra episode mermaid. What I think it is, is just a costume. Like, what is on set, what it says on the tin. They're expecting a lot of people who've only played in the Automata to come into this game. A vex ship and a little girl. Okay, so we got some tentacles. We got this 2D side scroll. So we do have a meal in the party here. What you see there is an... Shade that can never be killed is an invincible and mighty shade that can never be killed. Oh, I think this guy was may also have been a boss or something like him from the new raid for Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, so he has this mechanic where he blows wind at you. Looking like it could be a knockback or something. Okay. Interesting so far. Uh, they are doing more with this than I thought they would. I thought it would just be a straight-up remake with a new combat system. Mainly, but I thought the story would be pretty much the same. Uh, that's on me for doubting Yoko Taro, so, you know, got egg on my face for that one. So, let's go through this and just see what I missed. Nobody ever helped me. I'm, I do not know who this character is that's talking. Maybe it's Emil's sister. Maybe... I think I could be wrong there. I could be, like, completely not remembering what Emil's sister's story is. Nobody ever helped me. Extra dungeons, so... Plural. 15 nightmares. I'm assuming, then, that the dungeons are literally 15 of them. Like, 1 nightmare, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, and 15. Yeah, your boy can count, don't worry. It was a little, tough, start, tough little stretch there for a second, but we got through it. Really like the look of this sword. Like, we're not going to gloss over that. 
I'm really liking, personally, as someone who really enjoys Nia Automata's combat, I'm really liking the changes I'm seeing to the combat, just from the little bit of gameplay glimpses I saw from the original Nia. I really like how the combat changes in this game seem to be taking it more to a Nia Automata style and approach. Though it does seem as if this combat system does feel like it has a little bit more weight to it behind each attack than Automata's did. Something I'm liking to see. Honestly, it's kind of reminding me of Final Fantasy VII Remake, not necessarily in terms of the combat itself, but in terms of the weight behind each strike. So, I know these two bosses, because they were in the raid, like I said before. This is Hansel and Gretel, or Gretel and Hansel, forget the order. Extra costumes and weapons for Yorha. So, maybe we get a little bit of lore if they do what, what happened in the Automata, where each weapon itself had lore attached to it that you could read as you upgraded the weapon. Maybe there'll be lore associated with these weapons, and that's not just the same copy and paste from the Automata's lore. So, maybe we'll get some expanded lore or story based on that. One of the things aesthetically, I just noticed that, so my apologies are going back here, but I really liked how these particle effects also have these symbols in them. It's a nice touch, and I'm wondering what that means necessarily. I'm assuming it probably has something to do with the grimoire, and maybe it's the angelic language? I think it's the language used in the Nia songs. So it might also be the language here. As you can see, like some of these symbols look very reminiscent of the symbols you can see on these like arches back here. So yeah, if you recall from my first reaction trailer to Near Replicant, this was a scene from that as well. I believe this is the um, protagonist of the game. And this looks to be a costume for him to look like a Yorha. A Yorha member. I would say 9S, but I th think this chest, this top, is different. I could be wrong on that, though. But yeah. So you... Oh! This reminds me of nine, of A2. The hair is different, but it reminds me of A2. So I'm wondering if you can also... Yeah, that's like... That's 9S's sword, I think. So yeah, you have a 9S costume and a 2B costume. I'm assuming the 2B is for Kaine... And then the 9S costumes for the protagonist. It'd be kind of cool if you get like a pod for the book. Maybe. That'd be kind of cool. I'm assuming these are the Japanese voice actors and actresses for Near Automata. And again, like I said before, when I first went through the trailer, this is too big. I'm assuming Kyle McCauley is 9S. I believe that's so. So maybe you can change the voices of the characters to be. 2Bs and 9Ss. That'd be a pretty nice touch. Soundtrack from the Automata included. I really like that. I wonder how they're incorporating it. If you can just like pick which soundtrack you want and don't want. That could be pretty interesting. Or is it included in this with the extra episode Mermaid? Which I have a feeling is going to tie into the Automata somehow. Again, this desert looks very similar, in my opinion, to the desert from the Automata. I could be completely wrong on that. So, this was the one thing I wanted to see. That I kind of forgot. Okay, so, I think I was mistaken. I thought for a second that she looked like the red girl. Like, when we first went to this trailer, I kind of thought she kind of looked like the red girl from the Automata. I believe I was mistaken that, on that front. It could be, but I don't think it is upon further analysis. A wrecked ship and a little girl. At the same time, it could be. I One of the things I, I really loved about... By the way, these are the symbols again. I really loved about Neo Automata was how it used perspective changes to better the flow and the flow of combat and give you varied perspectives and varied gameplay types within the game itself. I always really enjoyed that. What you see there is an invincible and mighty shade that could never be killed. Making use of the orbs we all know and love for Automata. It's repairing itself. It has this giant gust wave. 
I like how the book was just, like the grimoire was just trying to do something there that was remotely helpful and completely whiffed. So yeah. Extra costumes. Extra dungeons. Wanna make sure because I thought there was one thing I missed. Uh, I could be wrong. Soundtrack from the Automata, I think it was right after this. Extra episode. Yeah. Okay, I probably just missed the Vex Ship in a little ago. So yeah, that's my reaction to the newest Neo Replicant trailer. Neo Replicant version one point. My apologies, I misspoke there. Near Replicant version point one point two two four seven four four eight seven one three nine point point point. Straight line extra content trailer. There we go. That's the level of efficiency, the level of fortitude we are talking about that we need and that we want for this type of reaction. So, thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video and you want to see more content. I know I'd appreciate it. And if I misinterpreted something, again, try no spoilers for the events of Nia Replicant, if you know them. But if it's something that is obviously a reference to, say, Dragon God or Nia Automata that I just missed, please feel free to comment down below and let's see if we can tear apart this trail and see what else we can really see through and see through the looking glass, if you will. So, I'll be in the comment section down below if you have any thoughts or any observations. So, thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video and you want to see more content. I know I would appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. The hell's that? Bye-bye, everybody.